It's chilly. There will be much buffering. There will. We haven't even started. I don't think. Yeah, we just did. Oh, we did. There okay. we go. Hi, Hi, Hi everybody. Yeah. Okay. There will be a lot of buffering because the cell service is not so good here. Yeah. I'm sorry. Beach. I'm sorry. We're late. We've had some technical difficulties, <laughs> but we're here. And the sun hasn't risen yet. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Oh, look, that's how the service starts. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> we're so tired. Let's, we're so tired. Go ahead. Yay, Dugans. The buffering is terrible. I'm grateful you're here. All right. Yeah. Everybody got your bulletin? All right, here we go. Alleluia. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. On this day, the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thanks be to our God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, Father and, and to, to the, the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. All right, let's say together the Pascha Nostra. Oh, wait. Uh, Nostra. No? Alleluia. Wait. Oh, sorry. Alleluia. The Lord, Lord is risen indeed. Come, Come let, let us adore, adore him. <laughs> Alleluia. <laughs> it's so cold. All right. Okay. Christ our Passover. Alleluia. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all but the life he lives he lives to god so also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to god in jesus christ our lord alleluia christ has been raised from the dead the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep for since by a man came death by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead for as in Adam all die, so in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. All right, Psalm 114, responsively by whole verse. Oh my gosh, Ellen Grimm is here. Yay. That's amazing. Who else is here? I can't see. Who go. knows? Oh, did I ruin it? I hope not. Oh, that would suck. Stay on this page. Don't stop. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, hallelujah. When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange speech, Judah became God's sanctuary and Israel his domain. The sea behind it, the sea beheld it and fled. Jordan turned and went back. The mountains skipped like rams and the little hills like young sheep. What ailed you, O sea, that you fled? O oh, Jordan, that you turned back. You mountains that you skipped like rams, you little hills like young sheep. Tremble, O oh earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the hard rock into a pool of water and flint stone into a flowing spring. All right, you get Kathleen's reading. Romans. Excellent. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united in him in a death like this, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like this. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body of sin might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For whoever has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. 
but the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right, and now we finally get to say the Gloria again. Yay! All together. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the most high. You, oh, did I skip something? You alone are the Lord, you alone are the most high. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. All right, a reading from the Gospel of John. Okay, are we gonna miss this? Oh no, here it comes, here it comes. Yeah, okay, it's very ahead. exciting. Okay, sorry. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark. Like now. Like now. <laughs> um, or like while we were trying to get cell signal. Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciples, um, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, they have taken, they've taken my Lord out of the tomb. We do not know where they have laid them. Then Peter and the other disciples set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must be raised from the dead. And then the disciples returned to their homes, but Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, wept she bent over to look into the tomb and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, they have taken away my Lord and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know what it, that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, do not hold on to me because I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to Thanks God. Thanks be to God. All right. So we came here to the beach in the dark, seeking out the light. We came to the beach here this morning, not just seeking out cell signal, <laughs> but seeking out the light so that we could celebrate with you the rising of the light. I'm sort of in the way of the, of the kind of in the, in the, can we turn it more this way? This way. Yeah, there we, go. There, there we go. Okay, you can. But no, I'm good. I'm okay. Good. All right. Well, anyhow. Okay. So, um, so we look a mess. Um, uh, we've actually been up a long time trying to figure all this stuff out. Um, but here's the point. 
Why did we do this? We did this because it is Easter. We did this because this is the day when we go to the garden and we go searching for Jesus. And we look into the darkness of our lives, which is the tomb. We look into the emptiness that we sometimes experience in our lives. And we look for Jesus and we weep. And now is a time in our collective lives when we are looking into the tomb, when we are looking into the darkness, and many of us are weeping. But here on this day, even as we look into the tomb, even as we look around and don't even know what is there for us, Jesus calls us by name. Jesus calls each and every one of us by name. So Jesus says, Pat, Alan, Diane, Rich, Kathleen, Mary, Greta. Jesus calls each and every one of us by name. And we are called into the light. And so on this day, as the sun is rising and the birds are singing, and I hope that we don't get arrested. <laughs> We're okay. We're okay. There's some other people. There's the some beach, other people so here. I was a little, a little yeah, I was concerned they were rangers. So they're just uh, here to be on the beach for sunrise. For sunrise. On for Easter. Easter morning. Because we're all looking for the light. Yeah. We are all looking for the light. Well, today of all days, here we are at the rising of the sun, knowing that the sun of righteousness. Oh, Amy, I'm sorry. Jesus is calling you too. Jesus is calling you too, Amy. Jesus calls you by name also, Amy. And all of us, Jesus is calling us because Jesus has risen. The Lord has risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let's say together the Apostles' Creed. I, I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. Oh, uh, for, uh, forgive us our sins as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who sin against us. Save, save us from, from the time, time of trial and, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And flannel. Let and flannel. your people <laughs> sing with joy. <laughs> Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. And this awesome collect for Easter Sunday, Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, overcame death and opened to us the gate open to us, the gate of everlasting life. Grant that we who celebrate the joy of the day of the Lord's resurrection may be raised from the death of sin by your life-giving spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. 
Oh God, you have made us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such blessing through our worship of you that the week to come may be spent in your favor through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the people of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you, bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Amen. All right, let's pray our prayer for mission. Dear, Dear God, God, guide us at Trinity Episcopal Church to be an inclusive and caring, Christ-centered community nurtured by our worship and tradition. We ask you to strengthen and guide us as we live out our mission to welcome and celebrate the diversity of all people. Uh, through spiritual, spiritual education, education growth, growth in faith, and, and service in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Okay. And the general thanksgiving. Almighty, Almighty God, God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Well, how are we doing? Uh, it's not up yet. It's supposed to be up. No. We have seven minutes. We have seven minutes? Okay, should we vamp? Should we vamp for seven minutes? All right, I'm gonna vamp. Okay. Jesus Christ is, is risen today. Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day. Alleluia. I don't remember the rest uh, uh, of it. Uh, <laughs> above the sky, he is king. Alleluia. Da -da -da -da, something that rhymes with ing. Alleluia. But the pain switch. All right, you know what? We're When we come back together, we're going to sing the shit out of that song. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We're going to get Hardwick on the organ, and I don't care what the rest of you say, he's going to play it loud. And we're going to sing at the top of our lungs, because it's just true that today is the day we remember that Jesus Christ is risen. And I want you all to remember that for the rest of the week. And for the rest of your lives, we live in a post-resurrection world which means that nothing is impossible. God is able to do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. His power is greater than we can ask or imagine. And there is no difficulty, no tragedy, no horror that his power and redeeming love cannot overcome. And so, we say very slowly, <laughs> Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Christ is risen.
Christ is risen indeed. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. So, so Kathleen is posting.